Uh, welcome, my name is Tom Antos and today I'm going to test out and review three different wireless microphone lavalier systems. So the three different systems that I chose are in three different price categories. So the cheapest one here uh, is from Asden. This one retails for $145. Uh, then we have from uh, one from Rode, it's called the Rode Link. This one retails for $399. And then the most expensive one is from Sennheiser. This one retails for $629. The, the similarities between the, these three systems is the fact that they all come in with pretty much the same things. They all include the uh, transmitter, receiver, and a live microphone with, uh, with a clip-on. Uh, the major difference is in the way that they, they transmit the, 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 the signal. So Sennheiser uses uh, UHF uh, radio frequencies. The Roadlink actually uses a digital 2.4 gigahertz uh, uh, frequency, and then the Asden uses a VHF uh, frequency. Now the Asden is actually a pretty simple system. It has three very basic settings. It has the off, and then it has F1 and F2, which is just channel one and channel two. There's nothing else really that you can you can change or adjust about the, the system. Versus the the Sennheiser and the Roadlink, these actually allow you to change channels as well as change, for example, the the audio gain. Uh, you know, volume, things like that. Uh, now, in order for you guys to, to really see the, the difference in audio quality from these three different systems, uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to switch between, uh, between of them throughout this whole video, and you'll be able to see which um, microphone or which system I'm using at that moment by looking at the top right side of the screen here. Now, Asden is, is the, the, like I said, the cheapest of the systems and, and sort of the simplest of them. Uh, it comes with a mic that's that's decent. Uh, it's a little bit on the big side, the same thing with the clip. Uh, now, it does have the, the little foam protection against the wind. Uh, you know, that does a little bit, it helps a little bit, it doesn't make a big difference. But anyways, like I said, the microphone is decent. It's not, not the best. Uh, now, when it comes to the, the transmitter, Transmitter and the receiver, uh, when it comes to size and weight, they're kind of in, somewhere in between the Sennheiser and the Roadlink. And now when it comes to the settings that you have up here, there's really only three. There's, you have off, F1, and F2. So those really allow you to, like I said, just change between the channel one and two or turn it off. And then here you have the battery compartment. Now the Asden uses nine volt batteries, which I'm not a fan of simply because they're a little bit harder to find. Uh, here on the back side, you have a belt clip on the transmitter belt clip is a little cheap it's just this plastic thing it doesn't extend that far so if you were to really start like i said you know stretching this thing and putting it on some kind of thick belt or some pants uh, you might end up breaking this and then you you will have a problem afterwards you know mounting it uh, as far as the receiver side goes it comes with a little antenna that uh, extends so it's supposed to give you a bigger range uh, I haven't really noticed a big difference with it. One thing that I don't like about the antenna is that it kind of, I, I've used the system for around two years now and it very quickly loosened up on me and now as you can see, it kind of just swivels around free uh, on its own. So it's kind of wobbly. So that's what I don't like about it. Um, now when it comes to the settings, again, it has the off and then F1 and F2, same as the, as the transmitter battery here, again, nine volt on this side. And then on the back side here, it has um, a Hachi mount. It's, it's an average hatch mount, not the best quality plastic, but again, it's going to do the job since the, the receiver itself is not that heavy. One cool feature that I do like about this system though, is that it has a headphone output up here. So you can directly plug in your headphones and you can hear the audio before it comes into your camera. So you can really kind of judge and make sure that you're getting a decent quality signal. Um, the things that really that I don't like about the system is the range is not the greatest on this. Uh, especially once the batteries are kind of running a little bit low. These batteries right now that I'm using right now in the system are not brand new because I've been using the, these systems today and doing various tests. So after a few hours, I find that, that the batteries, they'll, they'll usually run down uh, to the point where they can start introducing a lot of static or noise. Uh, so hopefully you're not hearing too much of that right now. Uh, but like I said, the batteries, you really want to make sure that you have fresh set of batteries. And another thing I don't like about the system is it doesn't show you the level of your battery. So you kind of, uh, whenever I've been using this, I kind of have to always have fresh pair of, you know, 9 volt batteries when I'm starting a new video. And like I said, if it's, if the batteries, you know, are used up a little bit too quickly, which on this system, like pretty much after, I would say three, four hours, uh, you want to end up putting a new set of batteries. Because after that, you're gonna get start getting a lot of noise, uh, and then you know, and sort of the noise to signal ratio is, is is pretty bad. So that's one thing I don't like about it. Now, what I do like about it, like I said, is that it has the headphones out, uh, and then it's it's the cheapest. <laughs> now, if you're considering something really for professional quality work, I would say 
you want to concentrate on the more expensive systems. Uh, so here uh, I've got the, the Roadling. Roadling is a fairly new system on the market. Uh, it's it's I think it's pretty cool because it's it's uh, it's not too expensive. Like I said, the retails for around three ninety nine. Um, so it's it's you know it's affordable. It's not as expensive as the Sennheiser. But I think the quality that it delivers is as good as the Sennheiser, maybe, you know, maybe even better. Uh, the, 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 some of the really cool things or innovative things about the Roadlink is the fact that uh, it uses a digital uh, signal transmission. It, it uses a 2.4 uh, uh, megahertz signal uh, and then within it, it, allowed, it automatically will switch between different channels for you. Uh, depending on what you know whether it encounters any sort of interference and from my testing so far uh, this system never really caused me any problems uh, if i was really far when i was doing the, the range test i would notice that on really really far distances sometimes if the signal just gets weak all that's it's going to happen is it's going to basically just cut out the signal altogether but you'll never get sort of static increasing like you would get with the, with the analog systems, which is the Asden or the Sennheisers. Uh, with the traditional uh, analog systems, uh, when you start going away further from the, from the transmitter, uh, you, what you're going to start noticing is that the, the noise is going to be sort of introduced and it's going to be increased. Uh, versus, like I said, digital signal transmission, you don't get those kind of problems. It's just, it, you know, if you go, like I said, so far that there's, just literally there's not enough signal, it will just simply cut out the signal altogether. But uh, as you'll see from my range test, it, this system performed very well. Um, some of the other things that I really like is that it has a digital display up here and it will actually show you here uh, what channel you're on. Uh, it will show you the volume that's coming uh, into the, the transmitter and it also shows you the battery level for the transmitter and the, and the receiver. So. You know, if you have this mounted on the camera or whatever it is, you know, your audio guy can be always monitoring this and making sure that your, your batteries are, are fresh and that this way, again, it, you're, you're not uh, sacrificing your range. Because again, if the batteries do deplete up here, obviously that means that you can't go as far, uh, you know, between the, the, you can't increase the distance as much between the transmitter and, and, the, and the receiver. And the transmitter itself is fairly simple. Again, it just has a power button here, it has a belt clip here, just like the, the, the receiver. Uh, but you can also put the, the hatch mount, again, the same thing as, as the receiver. Um, and it has a USB here connection, which I'm not 100% sure what it's for, but I think it's, it's for powering the system. Like, so you can, you can have a portable USB battery pack and you can use that to power it. Or you can use the, like I said, the, the AA batteries. And that's one thing that I like uh, with this system versus the Asden, uh, is that it uses the AA batteries. So here's the batteries in the back, and then here you also you have uh, the red buttons for pairing, uh, the, the transmitter and the receiver, and then here you have your gain, and you can change the gain from zero to 10 dB to plus 20 dB. Uh, now on the receiver side, it's the same thing. You also have the batteries here in the back, and then you also have the pairing button, and then on the gain, it goes in reverse, so you, you can actually decrease the signal in case it comes in too hot into the camera. So you can go from zero to minus 10 to minus 20 dB. Overall, really cool system. Like I said, so far when I've been testing it, the audio quality I'm, I'm really happy with. Uh, here, so just so as you can judge a little bit better, I'm gonna hold the mic up a little bit closer so you can see how the, the, the audio quality is on the mic. The mic itself, as you can see, uh, it's, uh, it's nice and small and it actually comes with different covers for it. Uh, this one is the little you know, foam cover that will kind of you know, uh, help with, with some of the wind. But if, when you're really outside, then you have a lot of wind then you can actually get this other uh, cover that it comes with and you, you can easily exchange them and put them under. And it's the, the sort of the little, like I said, I would call it a miniature dead cat, a little fuzzy little thing cover that really, really helps and works amazingly in windy, with the windy situations. Uh, the clip itself also is nice and small uh, and it also allows you to kind of, has a little here, uh, attachment, so it allows you to kind of uh, sort of organize and, and kind of twist the cable if you want it going the other way. Uh, so really nice, nice design, and like I said, microphone is small, uh, good quality delivers, and uh, and then the system itself, I'm I'm happy with. Really, the only maybe thing I would say when comparing to the other systems is that it is a little bit bigger and it's the heaviest system of of, of the three of them. So if size and, and weight are an issue, then you might want to sort of test these out, compare them, but. Again, it's not a big difference in, in weight. Now the size, if you compare this, for example, to the, to the Sennheiser, 
it is you know sennheiser i would say it's like one third of the of the, of the extra basic size the width of it are the same but it's just a little bit longer now when it comes to sennheiser uh like i said it uses uhf so it's an analog you know radio signal so like i said distance or if you have more interference uh between the transmitter and, and the receiver you're gonna have to watch out simply because it's gonna increase more noise uh, but the system itself it outputs a lot of uh, a lot of power. So here's the receiver. You'll notice both the receiver and the transmitter come with a little antenna like this. You, just like the road link here, you also have a digital display which will show you the the channel you're on, the the audio level, uh, the, the the signal that you're getting, and also the the battery level, and then also shows you information about the the frequency they're using. Uh, you can open up the cover up here. This is where you put the batteries. Also uses AA batteries, which I like. And then you have the button here for pairing, and then you can turn it on and off. Uh, and then here on the outside, you have the uh, two buttons for changing frequencies. And on the back, you have a belt clip, very similar to the one you know, like the road link, very nice and strong. Now here on the transmitter side, it's pretty much the same thing. Um, again, you have a belt clip. Now this system does not come with uh, with a hatch mount. I wish it did, especially for the price that you're paying. Um, and then again, here you can open up this compartment, you can change the batteries, turn it on and off, pair it, um, and then you have the same kind of display. Uh, also, you have the mute up here, you can mute the microphone. Uh, I forgot to say the Roadling also has that, it just has a mute button. Uh, and the only thing that both the Sennheiser and the Roadling don't have is a, is a, a headphone jack, so you can actually monitor the audio that's coming in directly into the, the, the receiver. Um, that's the only really thing. Uh, other than that, like I said, the system is the smallest and then the lightest I found. Uh, the microphone is also, it's not a big difference, but it's, it is a little bit, like a tiny bit, I would say smaller maybe than the, the, the road link. Same thing with the clip. Again, not a big difference. It's just millimeters, but it's a tiny, tiny, tiny bit uh, smaller. And the quality, I think of the, the microphone is, is pretty good. Now, this system doesn't come with any, like I said, covers for the microphones or anything like that. It's just pretty much this microphone with this sort of a standard cover that it comes with. Uh, so if you want to have something to, you know, sort of help you with the audio when you're out in windy situations, then definitely you'd want to buy some you know, a little extra accessory and put it on the mic. And uh, now you might be wondering how the system works, you know, uh, on a longer distance from the camera. Uh, I'll tell you right away, the, the Asden is the one that has the shortest distance, or, or at least it's on the specifications. The, the manufacturer says it only goes up to 250 feet which I actually found sometimes I can go further than that. Again, all of this is line of sight. Uh, the road link will go, it's over 300 feet, I forgot. I think it's like 330 or 40 feet uh, advertising uh, range. The Sennheiser, I wasn't able to find that information. So uh, anyway, so if you wanna see the actual quality and the, of the audio that you're getting at the different distances, then uh, here's the, the range test. All right, so right now I'm gonna do a range test with all the, the three different microphone systems. So the first one you're hearing me on is, uh, is gonna be the Asden, which I'm gonna switch to now. So this is the cheapest system and I'm ab about 25 feet away from the camera. Now I'm gonna switch to the mid-range system, which is the Roadlink. This is how the road link sounds. We got a little bit of background noise and stuff like that outside. Um, but hopefully it doesn't pick up too much of that, picks up more of my voice. And I'm gonna switch to the Sennheiser. So Sennheiser sounds like this. Uh, again, this is my voice at around 25 feet away. Now I'm gonna go a bit further back and again, I'm gonna test out all the microphones. So right now I'm about 50 feet away. Uh, again, this is how it sounds on the Asden. And this is on the Asden, about 50 feet away. Now I'm going to switch to the road. So this is on the road link. Around 50 feet away, this is how I sound. And now I'm going to switch to the Sennheiser. So at Sennheiser, 50 feet away, this is how the microphones sound. All right, I'm going to go even further now. All right, so right now I'm about 100 feet away. And this is uh, on the, uh, right now on the Asden. So on the Asden, 100 feet away, this is how it sounds. Now on the road link, 100 feet away, this is how I sound. Uh, this is an open line of sight. And now I'm going to switch to the Sennheiser. And on the Sennheiser, at around 100 feet away, this is how I sound. Uh, again, this is open line of sight. Uh, and I'm going to go a little bit behind this, this car here. And that should cause more interference. So right now, I'm, be I'm behind two cars here. And uh, this is on the Asden. And now I'm going to switch to the road link. And then uh, switching from the road link to the Sennheiser. Okay, now I'm going to go even further. Just to test it out, I'll go to 200 feet away. 
Okay, and here I'm about or almost 200 feet away. And again, this is how it's gonna sound on the Asden. So this is on the Asden microphone system at 200 feet away. Now I'm gonna switch to the, the road link. This is road link at around 200 feet away. Hopefully there's no interference. It's more or less like three line, line of sight. There are like, well, there's one car kind of between us. Uh, and now I'm gonna switch to Sennheiser. Sennheiser at around 200 feet away. Uh, again, like I said, it's almost a clear line of sight. There's a bit of some, you know, some little things and a, and a bit of a car here in between us. Hopefully it doesn't cause too much interference. I don't have any cell phones on me, but there is one cell phone close to the camera. So again, I'm gonna go even further now behind the, the buildings and around 300 feet away. All right, and right now this is on the Asden at around 300 feet away behind the building. And now I'm gonna go to the road link. So this is how it sounds on the road link, around 300 feet away behind the building. And now I'm gonna switch to Sennheiser. This is Sennheiser at around 300 feet away and behind a building. So there's a, you know, there, it's gonna cause more interference. Anyways, I'm gonna be heading back. And right now I'm back at around, again, 50 feet away. This is how it sounds on the Asden. And I'm gonna switch to the road link. So this is how it sounds on the road link, around 50 feet away. Uh, and I'm gonna switch to Sennheiser. This is on Sennheiser, around 50 feet away. This is how it sounds. I'm gonna walk even closer now. And I'm back at uh, 25 feet away. Uh, and this is again on the Asden. I'm gonna switch to the road link. This is how it sounds on the road link. And then I'm switching to Sennheiser. And on Sennheiser, this is how it sounds at around 25 feet away. Uh, so as you guys can see, uh, all of the systems performed fairly well in, in the range test. Now the, the top two best ones are the Sennheiser and the Roadlink. Uh, I'll tell you from just my experience of using them, uh, the Sennheiser, because it is analog system, like I said, you can, you can push it even further. You can go even further and you'll, you'll still get a signal, but the problem is you'll just be introducing more and more noise. And the same thing with the batteries die. You'll, you're really gonna be introducing a lot, a lot of like static, like, you know, in, on, on the low end. The Roadlink, even with the batteries, like I said, halfway down, you're not going to see much of a difference in the, in the quality of the audio, which is great. And that's, I'm guessing, because, it's, because of the fact that it uses digital, you know, uh, signal transmission. Um, the only thing is that once you reach that maximum distance it, and the signal is just too weak, it will just simply cut out the audio altogether for you. So that's the only thing to watch out with the road link. But I actually found it better because, like I said, I didn't never really have to worry too much about the battery level or, or really even the distance. Like I said, I knew that as long as I'm getting a signal there, the audio is gonna be great quality. Now my overall winner, I think would have to be the road link. The, the reason is because you're getting just as good if not better audio quality as the Sennheiser, uh, but you're getting that you know at, at a lower price. Uh, so that's, that's a big thing. And also the fact that it uses this cool new digital technology, which like I said, just it, you don't have to worry as, as much when it comes to the, the signal to, 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 uh, to, to noise kind of ratio. Uh, the Asden, like I said, if you that's all you can afford, it will do the job for basic video productions. But definitely, if you're doing something really professional, I would stay away from the system. And also, you know, like I said, it's just the build quality and the antenna and all those things that the, the, the belt clip are not the best. So it's that's one thing to watch out for. Sennheiser, like I said, it's a, it's a company that's been producing these these you know wireless video uh, microphone systems for a while now. So they're you know they're a reputable company definitely, and, and they've been used on a lot of feature films that I've worked on. Uh, the only thing, like I said, is just you know the, when you compare what you're getting for the price, I think the Roadlink just comes out on top. Uh, like I said, it doesn't have the belt, I mean, doesn't have the the, the hatch mount, uh, doesn't have the microphone covers, things like that. So uh, that's why I would say from all of them, you know, if you're gonna choose a wireless uh, you know microphone lavalier system. I would recommend the road link. Uh, if you guys more want information on, on where to get it, uh, you, you can actually get it right now from B&H Photo. Uh, they offer some great deals uh, and uh, all, the, all the best deals that you'll find on these uh, and the links to the, these products you can find uh, in the description of this video. Also, if you want more information and all the, the links, uh, you can, as always, go to my website, which is tomantosfilms.com. Anyway, guys, thank you. Hope you enjoyed this test and the review of the, of the wireless microphone systems. And as always, like I said, Make sure you check out my website for other filmmaking tutorials as well as uh, film equipment reviews and, uh, and exclusive filmmaking tutorials, which you can get only on my website, which is tomatosfilms.com.